What's up, Hippo here, and in this video, I'm gonna cover the top tips for new players and solo players in Sea of Thieves. If you find this video useful, hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. Starting out in Sea of Thieves can be a bit of a challenge with so many things to do and so many options out there. If you're brand new, I recommend going through the Maiden Voyage. In fact, I have a whole guide covering that, which includes a fast way to make some gold. Now let's jump into these tips. Always purchase resource crates and the storage crate from the Merchant Alliance. This will make sure your sloop is stocked up and ready for adventure. If you decide to purchase the storage crate from the Merchant Alliance before leaving the outpost, fill it up with all the supplies you can find. This will give you a chance at better food, cursed cannonballs, chain shots, blender bombs, fire bombs, etc. Organize your barrels. Each crew does it a bit differently, but I like to put all my cannonballs, chain shots, fire bombs, and blunders in the top barrel, cursed cannonballs in the bottom, and good food in the top barrel, and crappy food in the bottom barrel, aka bananas. Speaking of food, my next tip is know what is good. Not all food is created equal. Know what food to look for. I've created these graphs for easy reference, and you can find them in the description below and download them to your device. Next, I want you to know your weapon. Weapons. Each weapon is unique and offers unique damage. You can also find this graph for easy reference in the description below. PVP. Yeah, don't be afraid of it in this game. It's one of the best parts about it. With that being said, I have put together quite a few videos kind of around PVP in Sea of Thieves. So feel free to check those out. If you have any questions or want to see some PVP in action, jump on over to my Twitch stream and say hi. I stream Sea of Thieves every single week. Sloops are the fastest ship when going directly into the wind and the slowest ship when catching the wind in the sail if you're being chased aim your ship directly into the wind and make your sails flat this is a mechanic in the game that gives you top speed it doesn't make sense but hey neither does shooting yourself out of a cannon keep an eye on the horizon at all times while sailing around and make mental notes of where ships are this will help you stay safe as you voyage sell treasure as often as possible the more treasure you have on your ship the more risk you have as a solo player it's a risk you don't need so sell treasure as often as possible at outposts you can easily view the map table from up top on your sloop making it very easy to read the map on the go you can grab the ladder from inside the sloop which if you are trapped in the deck down below because pirates have taken over your helm or whatever you can use this trick to sneak attack and surprise them only do profitable voyages don't worry about finishing all the maps on your voyages either because you don't get any extra rep for completing a voyage. Instead, focus on the most profitable. Gold hoarders, you want multiple X's. Order of souls, you want more than three bounties to an island. And the merchant, well, you're just after the black and the gold animals. Don't waste your time on riddles and bounties with only one captain. You also have vaults that are great options and lost shipments that are great options, but try to do the most profitable voyage. Always keep your ship ready to leave at a moment's notice. This means sails up and anchor up pointed in a direction that will let you just drop sails and you are out of there. I see too many ships with sails down and their anchor down parked at an island. You want your ship ready to go just in case some scurvy pirates wanna come pay you a visit. All you have to do is drop your sails. Don't forget to turn your lights off on your ship. This will make it harder for others to spot your ship. You can practice boarding your ship by lunging off the front of your ship and trying to catch your own ladder. This gets you familiar with how to board other ships and it's a bit of fun. Did you know you can dodge sharks in this game? Yeah, I made a whole video on it. Link in the comments below for an in-depth explanation, but quite simply, as it charges you right before attack, swim down and then swim up. I call it the swoop and dupe. Never put kegs on your ship, just don't do it. The risk outweighs the reward, especially as a solo player and especially as a new pirate. However, if someone does bring a keg on your ship, one thing you are able to do is if they drop it while it's lit, you can quickly pick it up and defuse it before it blows up. Always attack with your port side of the ship facing your enemy. The sloop is unique in that there's a section of the ship that can't actually take damage due to the brig that is unusable on the sloop, meaning you have a spot on your port side of the ship that is basically invincible. Harpoon barrels for quick supplies on the go. However, the best way to do this is to put all of the supplies in a single barrel and then harpoon that one barrel to your ship. If you do decide to do this, just quickly check the horizon to make sure there's no ships around you. You can throw water out of the grate of your ship. Makes it really fast and really easy to kind of get the water out of your ship if you're in a bind. This will help you save time while bucketing your ship. 
if your ship catches on fire and you with it you can actually run over the fire and throw the water on yourself this will extinguish the fire on yourself and the ship at the same time it makes getting the fire off your ship rather easy as you sail around you'll notice large flocks of birds circling around these indicate a shipwreck these are great sources of supplies and loot as a new player they are worth checking out just make sure there are no ships around before jumping off your ship rowboats are your friends if you see a robot on an island make sure to attach it to your ship because you never know when you're going to need it they also most of the time have great supplies in them so it's definitely worth taking and putting on your ship you can put items on the anchor making it a bit harder for enemies to board and drop your anchor as a solo sloop getting your anchor drop can be one of the worst things so this surprisingly can help a lot don't put up the reaper flag i see a lot of new players doing this yes it looks cool but it actually marks you on the map for all to see so unless you want everyone coming over to say hello don't be fooled by the glowing red flag the emissary system is a way to make a lot of money fast i have put together in-depth guides explaining each emissary system and recommend you taking a look at them basically by putting up an emissary flag representing that specific trading company you are able to make up to 2.5 times the value of that treasure so it is worth doing i've linked this video in the description below know what skeleton ships look like they are a little bit different than real ships a skeleton ship will have green and blue lights on them and are easily recognizable from a distance side note as a solar slooper do not engage or sail near a skeleton galleon these are tough fights even for experienced pirates check for tuckers and sneaky pirates constantly every time you leave your ship and you get back do a quick check for tuckers i have a full guide on this for all the spots pirates like to hide and even show you how to do it yourself if you want to as a new player on the seas i recommend avoiding the storm until you get really comfortable sailing your ship it can be challenging to navigate as it makes your compass go crazy holes can happen in your ship and the wheel is constantly turning i would just avoid it altogether the sword is one of the most valuable weapons in the game with lunges blocks and no need to reload this makes it a great weapon for new pirates to master i've put together a very in-depth guide video explaining everything you need to know regarding the sword I highly recommend you check it out last but not least join my discord i have put together a pirate guide program where pirate sherpas are taking on new pirates and showing them the world of sea of thieves this will give you the opportunity to ask questions and learn about the game from seasoned pirates making your experiences in the seas that much better so there you go these are just a few of the tips that i think new players and returning players to see if thieves need to know or kind of be reminded of i'm going to be making more videos like this so if you like this video make sure to hit that like button but if you never want to miss a new video go ahead and hit subscribe and click the bell while you're at it thanks for watching guys and i hope to see you out on the seas